Okay, people were a bit lucky there because something went really loud with this. And there it goes again. The hell. Uh, the hell is that noise? Let's just drop that by half. That should <laughs> deafen whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> there's always something that goes wrong, huh? Yeah, I feel like that's a, a prank for people that leaves the game on a VK or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll only want to be watching now later on on YouTube. Get in here along with Rocky. And welcome to Something Sunday. We'll be trying out Drugs Operative first. With whatever god beam that's supposed to be. <laughs> let's let's flee it before it actually starts. Let's see. Uh -huh. The timing of that one. <laughs> okay. I think I tried this game before, but basically gave up because you had too many options to actually get anywhere. Let's see. Yeah, these are going... This is quite a lot already to choose from. Let's see. Options, unlucky, difficult ops. Hardcore, semi-hardcore, poverty, bare bones, no life. No life ship cannot have any crew other than droids. Okay. Let's see. Humans, more advanced than the ragtag days of early space exploration. Human civilization has finally united at least enough to be <laughs> to compete with the other expansionist races of the galaxy. But will they keep their natural aggression external or collapse back into the old pattern of infighting sticking to their tiny section of the universe? They can be messy and unpredictable, but also fiercely determined and obsessive. It's... Yeah, I... Uh... A tutorial here would have been nice. Is there a tutorial or... I do not see anything for a tutorial. But I do hear that's that thing again. What the heck? I, I hope we won't hear it once we start the game. Yeah, let's just... Random and go. That starting monster difficulty, ships level... Yeah, did... Maybe... Maybe there was a tutorial when I first tried this, because I think I did try this game before. But... Yeah, it, repeatable tutorials are a good thing. Uh, good or bad? I guess it, it can depend on the game. Like, if it gives you the option to skip the tutorial, that's a good thing. Yeah, let's just go with the basics. Welcome to the quick help topic system to read a new help topic. Click on the blinking question mark icons when they appear on the bottom of the screen. They are, these are here to help you learn Drox Operative as quickly as possible without boring you to death with a tutorial. A tutorial will be nice all the same. Though maybe an option between hints and a full tutorial. Okay. Let's see. Jump cages form a network of locations in the sector where a ship can instantly move from one network location to another. There are a few limitations though. First, you must find and activate each jump gate to be able to use it. Second, since jump gates need regular maintenance, a jump gate can only be a valid destination if it is located in a system that has at least one inhabited planet. And last but not least, each race that has an inhabited planet in it will charge you a fee to use their jump gate as a destination. This fee is based on how much they like you, so try to use jump gates controlled by allies. Okay. Ship stash, shared stash, stash shot by all your ships. Personal stash. Okay, so basically banking systems. Race relation. You found your first race. Talk to them on the relation screen. <laughs> okay. Objectives. Five ways to succeed, three ways to fail, military win, ally with the last living race, all the remaining races, including the Drox, are allied together, economic wing, make the Drox operative guild enough money in this sector, fear win, a sector that cowers before a Drox operative will make the Drox high command very happy, legend win, the more legends the Drox operative guild has, the better. Okay. Now, uh, 
Okay, I we move by pointing the mouse somewhere and holding the left mouse button. And you basically had to someone wanted to talk to you. I did not. Okay, we can also move with the WASD. Yeah, I get the feeling we won't be sticking long with this game. Alright. And what so what are they for? They're throwing. It looks like we're dealing with some sort of <laughs> word species here or something. Incoming message. Cortex, new help. It's pleasant to become acquainted with an operative. Uh, okay. The Cortex. Well, physically weak, the small, quiet, calm Cortex make up, their make up for their diminutive size with an uncanny intelligence. Exceptional researchers, clever with defense, not quick to invade. Let's take the cover. Mm hmm. Okay, so these are basically science dwarves. Okay. Ruthless. Okay. And uh, what are these other topics? Move me WSD. Press a number key. Uh, corresponding to one of the hotkey components and left, left click. Target ship automatically targets the nearest enemy, but you can unhang the target. Okay. Components in space. Components in space are text above them for even amplification. Mm -hmm. Five types of slots. Yeah, they, they really could have used a tutorial to ease all of this shit in. Yeah. It seems like an interesting game, but yeah. Let's They're see. really dumping stuff on you. Heavy components. What they basically mean is a tutorial campaign, probably. Yeah, a lot of game, a lot of games use the uh, single player campaign as a big ass tutorial for the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a trade good, and we have some consumables, and we also have Elam on board here, <laughs> apparently. A what now? Uh, a guy called Elm. Oh. I'm, I'm getting a bit of the feeling that this game is a sort of like a space Diablo. With, uh, well, 4X style uh, <coughs> victory th points. Let's see. What is over here? Is that oh, the star? Yeah, we use victory points, but alright. Yeah. Like a ways to win the game, so to speak. Let's see. What is that supposed to be doing? Inventory screen. And what are these here? I'm guessing those were supposed to be a sort of mine. And... Okay. An anomaly. I don't think flying through that would be good. Oh, and basically it's a chest. Hmm. Let's see. Cheap laser, cheap nuclear mine. And a cheap ram accelerator. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Silver deposits. Looks like a gas game to me. Okay, okay, that's a lot of goodies. Oh. A little annoyance. One wing hunger, right? It costs severe radiation damage. Oh, that's a... I was trying to attack them. <laughs> I was just to say, don't attack them. Let's see. Oh, 
I remember something similar, like a game similar to this. Battery recharger, we can put that in there. Can't. Right click to identify. Yeah, this is this is just coming across as a sort of a space Diablo for me so far. Yeah. For me specifically, that's more of a sometimes in the stuff, but here it sort of feels like Diablo with how much loot you get and all the stats and all that. That I can see is being like a Diablo. Mm -hmm. like, and it combines Diablo with Invasion or something like that? Yeah, a bit of a mix between them. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Let's I identify all of these things. I can see the good idea from at the moment. It's really overwhelming. Yeah. New laser. Excellent looking at mine. Uh, there. Power overload. Okay, so we... Yeah, I was expecting we'd have something like that. So... Yeah, we'll have to upgrade our power systems then, somehow. I'm hope... I'm hoping our inventory isn't limited to just this here. And I just realized I'd forgotten one of the steps of my preparation. Hmm. Let's see, we have, yeah, map. Like, what, seriously, what are those things? They, yeah, I think they're just mines, but we can't, we can't see, look at them to see if they are or not. Yeah, but are you even taking damage? I'm not sure, but I'd rather avoid them Wait, if that keeps old? happening. Wait, how old? Oh, then I can't mind that gives you too much power? No, that it... Uh, I think it means that... Uh, power load, any unused power load increases your energy regeneration rate. Oh. Uh, yeah, ba basically this is how much we can have equipped, how much of our, our generator can uh, supply. That would be... Sort of infinite amount of energy as long as you don't put uh, much that came up into it. Yeah. Okay, leveled up. I kind of like the concept that there's a balance for it. Like it's not that this miracle thing that there is a certain limit. Let's see. Nope. We gained a level so we can put some points into something, but let's uh, clear out the area first before we get ambushed. <laughs> let's see, something here. Superior deflectors. It needs 26 more power, but it's more than double our shields that we have at the moment. Let's see, we do... We have 18 power available. And uh, okay, where did we pick up you at random somewhere? Where could we even we could put you in there? Requires level five. All right. Let's see. Are any of these actually usable at the moment? That one is. Hmm. Now we have twelve left, so we can install that one. We're putting a lot of guns on this thing now. And I'm sort of hoping that when we... Actually... I think it said that if we... Hmm. Oh. Okay, okay oh, so the... Yeah, wrong button. Okay, so each of these have their own little cooldown. So, Maybe. yeah, if we... 
interesting. Apparently, you still work out mail or out warm. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that's some sort of uh, generally hostile space uh, tyrannid stuff or so. Yeah, and... for all of us, you and six people have the title of mail. See, another so anomaly. It could be onto something there. A battery bank? Is this going to give us more power? Maybe. 24 max power, but... Plus 19 light... Oh. Power over here. Energy for uh, using our stuff, I presume. Like if we... Yeah, if we fire those... It... It drains energy. And there goes the vendor. <laughs> I just ask, when does the vendor sell you in secret if you save them? And yeah, tell me when you're able to save them. Oh well. And I can yeah, see like, how this I could see how this game would appeal to some people, but yeah, just a, even a most basic tutorial to uh, ease you in would help a lot. Because I th I think it was probably the fact that there was no tutorial that uh, led to me dropping this game when I first tried it. I guess that means they only recently added a tutorial? I don't think so. This game is like... There is no tutorial. There's only those hints. That doesn't count as a tutorial. <laughs> and by the way, is there also modern state that you play today? Hmm? Is it Mother's Day in Holland as well? I think it was a few months ago. In Sweden, it's today, for some reason. Okay. I don't know if Sweden are the only ones that does it, or just Scandinavia that does this. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's due to we have another holiday during the Mother's Day that everyone else is celebrating. Okay, sell that stuff. I don't think we'll be needing this for some time. And let's see, which of these... These are weaker than the ones that we have, so we can sell those. And... Yeah, we should, we should probably sell him, because we won't be able to use him for quite a while more, and... Was that me accidentally throwing it out? That was me accidentally throwing it out, I think. Uh, yep. <laughs> Let's grab that back. Are you telling me that you threw out a man into space? No, uh, these energy spikes. Oh, alright. Let's see. Few more brood swarms uprising. Cortex. Okay, so we you can accidentally solve... Uh, <clears throat> you can accidentally solve... Uh, quest before you've even collected them if they are killed x amount of things stuff i kind of like that but that would sort of make sense yeah let's see oh plus 85 max power loads requires four engineering uh that is a heavy one though so that would cost us one of our weapons but things has been easy enough so far incoming message an up okay, we found the dryads. Okay, and they have quests for us. Um, hmm. Let's see. How much does it cost us? 43 credits, and we have 90, 109. So let's get that. Put that in there. I'm guessing we'll be able to get more of these component slots whenever, uh, yeah, at some points at least. Yeah, that is in that has massively increased our power loads. So yeah, we need one more engineering for those shields. So put those instead of those. Now let's start pulling off the lowest amount of, okay the laser is the lowest amount of damage we have 
Jeep Ram. Oh, that's that's our engine. We don't want to sell that. Okay, 14 damage per second. We're putting that in place of the old laser. Now it's not awful. You said engine and unable to leave. Uh, let's see. Then. That's all of the heavy components. Let's. Uh, we'll have to be in trade. Let's sell the old laser. Now let's see. Which mine or another cannon? Or do they have? Okay, plus eight in defense, thirty-five attack, and plus twenty extra credits, but. It 69 credits. <laughs> Let's buy that thing. Put that in. And I think that, yeah, most of the other stuff we can just sell them as well. Mm. I think I'll keep the mine for now. Let's see. Laser, cannon, and mines. Oh wait, I we can put those in there. What is this? Okay, that's another <coughs> computer. That's. Let's see. What was the color of the planet? Cock in Caltari. Hmm? Cock. <laughs> Jay? Um. I wonder if we can... If we pull that... Okay, this... This slot is unusable at the moment. I really hmm. hope that I just add an extra A and N. Then it would be exactly the plan it could be. <laughs> okay, what is this place? Small toxic planet. Yeah, not comfortable down. Some sort of. I think I'm just going to try and avoid random uh, unnamed objects. And... Oh. Uh, yeah, let's not stick around whatever that thing is because it's obviously trying to kill us. And okay, yeah, that. <laughs> so containers can be destroyed. Okay. Unrest on Glorious Blocks. There's another oh, yeah, plant here we somewhere. Or mm -hmm. let's take a look at the quest we have. I hardly understood the word there. Boom. I said, let's take a look at the quest we have. Visit another star system. <laughs> Wait, what? The Dryas and them gave all the quests, uh, so. Yeah, but there must be in a bit of unexplored space around here. Ah. And I guess we just haven't accepted the quest at the moment as well. Oh. They're only offering them. Okay, that laser is a lot more powerful. Let's see, do they have anything useful here? Uh, we could get. Uh, Jeff back. No, we will need to at the moment, though. Since we still can't use him and... Okay, what just happened to that ship? Ah. Oh, yeah. here's the Dryad planet. Yep. Let's see what questions stuff they offer. And what they offer in trade as well. Make Al Gore safer. Also solved. Level 3. Welcome. Okay. Grim Swarms Uprising. Stalker. A male. Okay, that's a named one. Seeping is gathering. Unrest and Glorswark. Uh, we need this unrest settled as soon as possible. Please help the local police by bringing out at least two crates of mild non lethal weapons. Which are available for purchase at Mera Utopian. So there's a third species in this area. In no, in the Helgorn system. 
Okay. Big credit bonus there, which is 195. Okay. Ooh. Okay, were those comets? Yep. An ambush. Yep. Well, so much for an ambush. <laughs> Another message. You are like water for plant planets. Okay, so they're starting to like us. Yeah, wait. I think they... All the time we shred that with the color ring and stuff, I think they love you. Thank you. They're, they're even just... they even just outright offering me nine credits. Does it agree? Yeah, they're the local... Ah, uh, all right. I don't like you. Yeah, I don't. Think maybe I'm being a bit colorblind, but it is it is a different color than the one to the cortex. Oh, it is. Wait, are they starting to dislike us because we are helping the dryads? No, it's not. I think it's uh, gray. Well, for me, this looks a bit yellow orange. That is a light yellow, and this is also a light yellow. Hmm. Uh, wait. It I'm... might be something else. It's a power ranking. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. That was going in the wrong You're area. looking at the wrong thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's these it's these lines in between here. Yeah. Do they seem to be friendly relation to each other, I think? Yeah. So we people have not made many questions for the court at, uh, at the moment. Another anomaly. Very un oh, <laughs> unstable and boom, of course. I'm almost getting a little bit Star Trek feel here, only a little bit. Let's see. You know how much Star Trek love to have issues with the anomaly, uh, anomalies in space. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Chat there. Trucker pokes Hillian hit the shield disruptors. Memorial Day in the USA tomorrow. Dryads is the population is the quest population boosting, like you, or like who? You mean who? <laughs> it... Um. I'm... You're thinking I'm a bit too distracted to get any joke there. And... Okay, I think we... Did we actually... I think I actually hit the Alt button before, which stopped showing those... Uh, the names of items. Hmm. Okay, there's another wandering merchant. So that was a different one that got killed. <laughs> okay, it looks like we've seen pretty much everything in this area. I'm pretty sure that is the exact same noise as in Diablo. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, that long of a delay in checking chat isn't helping interacting. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It, I'm just not uh, used to, well, having much activity in the chat anyways. Yeah, and um, do you want this game game at the coin sound? I think that's a very... Stock? Free... What? A very stock, stock noise? Yeah, like... You hear... There's very few games that have unique coin sound. Many of them are either extremely similar or exactly the same coin sound. Okay. Can't use jump gate, can't use jump gate. Are, are they expecting us to traverse the, em the empty space in between on our own? Well, you do use gates, which you may need to pay for to be allowed, but yeah, the but... more friendly than the cheaper. It also said that we have to need to have found uh, a gate before we can use it. Oh, okay, yeah, then we probably need to do that. Let's see, we can't zoom out any further here. Sector map. Okay, gone. I am not going to like this at all, I'm guessing. Whee! 
you've moved out of the star system, there's nothing out here but the blinking night to go back to the star system, yeah. Wait, so it, it is actively it is actively telling us to stay in the system and Okay the hell? Was this here before? Oh Okay, so that's how you go from system to system. All right. Ah. Okay, and difficulty is already starting to spike a bit because these things are level five. Okay. And it's a good thing that we <laughs> got a bunch of good stuff at the front and... Okay, that wasn't our health that got loud dropped out. The shield? Yeah, that, the green is our structure, and our structure is uh, gone. gone. <laughs> oh, black box! Let's see. Not even Dine Beanie's time yet. Beanie isn't really active here either. I think he's shown up a few times. Let's see. Damage. Yeah, damage is obvious. Low structure. To... Grunt! to the shipyard. Yeah, that's the ship type that we just killed us, I'm pretty sure. Low energy. That regenerates. Energy spike. And destruction. Destruction is inevitable in Drox Operative. Don't worry too much about dying, though, unless you are playing hardcore as a Drox Operative. You are backed by an insurance policy for your ship and components and clones for you and your crew. This is paid for by the Drax High Command. Downsides to losing your ship there will be resurrected next to whatever jump kit you are bound to. So basically like a, a respawn point, a heart stone, whatever that is again. Might not be very... Incur a small XP penalty, a depth penalty. That means you get less experience until you work off that depth, XP depth. And, uh, recover your black box where you can destroy the act the XP depth will be decreased. Okay. Not safe between game sessions, so that's a bit of Dark Souls before <laughs> even Dark Souls was a thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so let's grab the black box and get the heck out of there. Well, I don't think we'll have too much of a choice with sticking around here because it's the only place we can go to. But yeah, we'll have to be a bit more careful with combat. Yeah. It seems to right Let's see, it should be what? around here somewhere. There it is. Just gonna the All right. Uh, let's see. No. System map. Okay, that doesn't show us anything. I should have expected that. Okay, Elysium. Uh, oh, uh. Come on, your lower level. Okay, I might have to keep it. Okay, I I can't have to. All right then. Oh, another one. Come on. No, human. Hey. You're all human. Now we we are, we found a, <clears throat> a a human planet. So now we have contact with them. Okay, let's see. Line type. Okay, so those the humans and cortex. Or the humans haven't met the cortex or the dryads yet. Okay, let's go grab that. Elysium, this was on a second planet. Utopian declared war on human, okay. So that there's a there's now a race war going on. A tiny inferno planet. Oh. So it's not a pleasant planet then. Yeah. Utopian? 
fighter bay and nuclear missile. Wait, why would a utopian society declare war? Uh, okay, this is as good as mine at the moment. Let's see, we can't use that. Okay, we, 15 tactical. And uh, unknown uh, technology uh, stolen uh, from Mun. Yeah, Mun. Mun, as we say, it's really mouth. <laughs> okay. So we're stolen from someone's mouth. Rude. Probably what someone from the lollipop. Okay, let's continue on. And nothing. Come on. Okay, some stuff to sell. Need to write. Uh, you again. Whoa. Yep, a lesser grudge. How big do they get if that's a lesser one? <laughs> uh, Oop. Uh, Fight, fight, fight. Okay, yeah. I'm just <laughs> I'm just spamming your weapons here. So we don't die again. So maybe having more energy would be a good thing after all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go investigate this this thing. And get away from me, you. Okay, yeah, we're we're low on <laughs> we're low on health again. And okay. technology trade of mild lethal weapons. Okay. You should probably get some work to sell. Yeah. So we'll have to find. Let's. There's. Okay, there's some planets here. Also, more of these assholes. Okay, these are uninhabited. Are there. Is there actually any. Species that has settled here or not? Hmm. It seems that this system is a bit empty, or empty of uh, civilization at the least. And yeah, those two are really going at it. It seems. <laughs> Okay, where is the nearest planet up there? Glor Sparks. Hmm. Okay, at least the low health sound in this game isn't too annoying. Let's see. Trade. 12 engineering, 76 shields. Um, we have 66. It need. Uh, let's sell that. Actually, it's more than we are useful. It's useful for us at the moment. Armor plating. Between our laser and our engine, or between our engine, our laser, and our generator here, I don't think we'll have any use for much. Any heavy items? Let's see. I just hear that we can't pay crew. To keep them happy. Oh. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Currently equipped. Okay, that's a lot more damage there, so let's replace that. 
Uh, no space for that. This does less damage than our current one. Lethal weapon. Wait. Oh, power overload. Uh, let's see. 41. Okay, yeah, that... Okay, that, that explains why that is a lot more powerful. It needs a lot of power. And the vendor is out of credits. Okay. You uh, don't see that too often. Or it doesn't have enough. Okay, 400 credits for that. That is quite a bit. Yeah, I think that maybe the game picked up how to also balance it around. Well, I think that, but it's realistic. It can also, in a way, get very annoying when you play a game. Yeah. See, unknown technology. If needed, a race will pay good money for technology. Oh, we, and we can auto sail by using spacebar. Okay, good to know. Not enough credits. It went, oh, there. Yeah, I was looking at our own credits down here. They can ho have only 30 left. Um, quests. Kill a boot. Yeah, or at boot. They, they want us to kill a Canadian. <laughs> Wait, what? The drag have declared war on the humans. Unrest, disruption, what the heck is going on in this system? I just say they thought of it. <laughs> yes, and I'm it's... making that video before you do. It's... Didn't we have someone? Did we get another guy or something? Yeah, they are in the inventory. Yeah, that's a bit you odd. Got a, you got them as a reward uh, for helping them a while back, uh, the dryad. Okay. Um, rumor? Okay, so this is basically... You can spread rumors about people, sabotage... Where do I repair? Hmm. Okay. Queen has a It's a repair on the trade menu. O okay, thank you for pointing that out. I missed that. Trade and repair structure. Okay, thanks for pointing that out, trucker. And uh, since we're still not level 5, you can stay here. I just to say, would you, wouldn't it be good to see if they were better or worse than your own character? Yeah, but we still need two levels to be able to equip them. If... Oh. Galactic Karma, well, Empire, Civil War. Well, you are now at least level 3, I think. Okay, this is throwing a lot at us real quick. Like they're, they want us to help terraform a planet. Uh, a lot of unrest, a lot of uh, marauders, and even a civil war. Yep, I'm Let's see, terror. Has a crate of severe lethal weapons. Quino has a one left. Okay, so it, you can ask for where those could be. Wait, great. Trade. Okay, severe lethal weapons, and that's showing an M16 or something. Robotic troops. And needs this. Okay, so it shows you which things you can buy, or it shows you things that you uh, need for quests or can use for quests. Why the heck are they using an M16 icon in a game thing? Because stock items. Yeah, below all the sell buttons. Yeah, I saw it there. Uh, quests. Uh, here's your guns. Don't uh, massacre too much with that. Um, 
So, there in, in Elgore's system, Inquino needs this component. Tell Inquino. So, wait. Hmm? And the Drac have completely eliminated humanity, apparently. Don't look at me, I'm innocent in this one goal. Uh, let's see. What can we actually do? Next ship at five commands. Okay, so we can use... If we upgrade this, we get more of those slots. Ship upgraded to light corvette. 20 weight, minus 20 defense, one slot and three tactical. Ship speed, just improve your speed while weight slows it down. So the faster your speed, the faster your turn. Okay, yeah, so basically bigger ships go slower but are better at combat. Let's see. That is there. A Pols Nomado spotted in Zurich. Okay, and what is going on with Quino now? That, that it's it's noticeable uh, that we are a lot slower now. Does anyone have any engines to sell? Let's see, quests, kill, turmoil, cortex. Oh, that's that one that appeared just now. Okay. Disruption, civil war. Okay, the hell is going on with all of these people? Let's see. Trades, no engines here. Though we do have a, we have space for a lot of light components. <laughs> just swat that thing out of the sky completely. Actually, what's with this <laughs> colony ship? They said... Uh, okay, are we inspecting it? I think we have a quest to help... Yeah, help terraform Quino, but Quino is already taken by the other pe by the other species. Uh, da -da. Into a terran plant, but you need your help. Bring us... <laughs> Satellite heat controllers, per available for purchase at Tear. Okay, so basically, uh, they want to, they want the Cortex's uh, planet, but yeah, that is that'll spark a war between these species. Let's see, microwave heat. Okay. How is our relationship? Uh, yeah, <laughs> eliminated by Drac. So they're already out of the game. And we are not even out of the first uh, pair of... Uh, <laughs> not even out of the first area. Well, we have been out of the first area and turned back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Quino Cortex needs this component. Okay. So do we need to do we need to bring? And they also have a colony ship going up now. Um, okay, I'm being a bit stumped at the moment. Yeah, understandable. Let's see, we have only six power available. These are stronger though. Let's see. Yeah, we can we can fit that one. 21 thermal resistance to plus two max power load okay this will be the better one actually though it is more expensive of course so let's take that install it in favor of that one and yeah there we go now, how do we give that stuff to the talk? No. 
we need to donate it. Donation plays a constant if you to donate that components to uh, this vendor. I missing here some, I believe. Hmm. Let's see, Quino of the Cortex uh, needs this component. So how do we do? We need to donate it. Oh yeah, we need to donate to complete that. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Help Terra from Quino. Wait. It's Terra from Quino Cortex of the Sabotage. That... Okay, are, are are these two species in a sort of uh, invisible war at the moment? Let's see. Quino that, needs that, this. Wait, the Cortex have a civil war. So they are probably sabotaging their own uh, people. Yeah. And in the meantime, the drives are just sitting back and uh, yeah, waiting for them to exterminate each other. I think they're just being happy over there and trading with everyone they can. And having a pleasant time. That, they don't get a very very war life. Or just being a bit biased because of uh, the safari, aren't you? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it, it, I'll have to admit, this is starting to look up quite a bit. Uh, though it, is, it was quite a hurdle to start it with. Hmm. Yeah, I can see people liking the game just to give it takes time to get into it. Yeah. Now, is there any of these that help increase our speed? Computers is for attack. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just laying around here. Uh, helm is for defense. Structural is for more health. Engineering, more energy regeneration. And bigger health energy pool. A message from the drag. <laughs> they're, they're dragons. Okay. These lot are generally neutral to each other. The drag have quests for us, though. The drag are the weakest at the moment, so that's also why they aren't picking any fights. Uh, where did we run into any drag ship or something? Yeah, we found a. a uh... Shipyard. Drag added to shipyard. What do you mean they mean with that? I think uh, probably their basic ship. They're not gonna drive accidentally in the drag. Let's see. Tuned radiation neutralizer. That other planet needs that. You guys need this. Uh, and the M. Empire has split into two Cortex and Cortex Rebels. Oh, oh, oh uh, we were accidentally helping the Rebels. Um, oops. Oh. Let's see. This needs 11. Wait. The most powerful race is now Drac. Okay. And it. This game is proving to be more interesting than I thought originally. Now, you oh, guys yeah. need this. And you can also have this useless thing. Let's see. Solve. And no other quests here. Okay. Now level 4. And we got an item from that. Which is terrible as well. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit of a yeah, that's a bit of a negative with games that have just randomly generated loot. You might get something amazing, or you might end up with absolute trash. And it looks like Beanie is streaming again. Like he's been streaming for nearly every day now, I think. <laughs> Let's see. I think we're mostly done in this area now then.
Let's see, Sartinia, Izarox, Tar, Tar, Holgorn, Saturia, uh, da, da, da. oh yeah, Meteor Fragments are needed here. So let's go look for more of those. Let's see. Out general damage. Pilot level 1 at 50 base helm. Eh? Okay. Let's see. Drivers and thrusters increase max speed. You go away. What is this here? Oh, you... These are shortcuts? I'm guessing. Yep, they are. And these things we can just swat out of the sky now. I see you at the bottom there. And it... There you are. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, where are any more of those fragments then here? And yeah, it seems like these enemies are just respawning infinitely. This can be good for the opinion. Ah, right. uh, that's jump gates. Hmm. Now we need to find one more. I wonder, can we switch ship in the shipyard? Probably. So like we'd have to find a, a place with a shipyard first. Oh. Stalker has built a star base. Started oh, an yeah, uprising we of. Okay, we need a stalker. Heck yeah, yeah. This, this is just, this is just really hectic, isn't it? Uh, sorry, Beanie streaming about to start again. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, where's that last fragment? Okay, the particle... We probably should have figured that out. Uh, manual... Budget ram, accelerator, manual aim. So this basically fires where we're pointing. And... In firing? Okay. Or just different enemy factions. Hmm. Space Pirates. Oh, another vendor. Let's see, do you have, you have a better uh, engine? It's only a little... Oh, oh, minus 12 power load. That is good. And it's cheap as well. So, you go out. New go in. One empty chip socket. Chip. Chips go into empty chip socket. Da -da -da -da. Plus 4% tweaks fine chance. Okay, so 4% item drop chance, I'm guessing. Okay. Sell the old. <clears throat> Rumor has Drak's view of Utopian. Uh, let's get that and put it in there. Operation to start an uprising of Bloody Thunderous in Isorux. Okay. So now we've... There's a lot of espionage going on behind the scenes here. And a lot of combat over here. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. You need to be very good multitasker to handle... ...to do all those things yourself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to. You, I, I'm reminded of another game. I'm forgetting the exact name, but um, it's one way you can start your own colony. Basically, the the premise of that game is that um, yeah, 
humanity used to be like a giant empire, but then the uh, yeah the gate system linking all of that together failed, basically dropping the local sector into a stone age, no, not a dark age at least. Uh, but I'm completely blanking on the name of it. Propaganda's cross from Chan. Is it Age of Wonders Planetfall? No, it's a space game. I said Age of Wonders Planetfall. I don't know that one. It's the latest game. They're, they basically made a fourth Age of Wonder game, and that one is in space. Uh, already went there. It, the hell is going on here that everything is so disrupted? And but yeah, they don't people that made the other Age of Wonders game. I don't know why they made sci-fi. Okay. It seems that we have a limited amount of uh, quest slots. So let's go check if we can turn some in. The, the one thing you said about the premise, I feel like there's many games that done that. Maybe. Like even Warhammer 40k had done it. See quests, help terraform it even further. Help with latest research. Okay, both of those want us to go to the Isarac system. It is... Okay, that's the next one over. Uh, let's... Let's continue with the helping the terraforming. And actually, we're... We're at the hour mark. Do you want to keep going with this, or shall we move to the next one? Yeah, we can move to the next one. All right. Even me, even I are having. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing oh, all of this noise from the start screen here is a bit of a warning of how chaotic things will get. Yeah, and I just say this game is definitely also hard for me to even myself keep up. Let's see, configure. It's resolution, make that big, high quality, no full screen because I want to be able to share this. Okay, save, launch. Okay, and then once this starts up, I can share it to you. And then once in, it's, come on. options and then here i should be able to move it back to full screen yeah there it is which means that obs should catch it any second now oh. is it sharing to you now trick here uh let's see obs has found it at least it's showing and i can get a sound okay yeah this is dungeon defenders Basically, it's a yeah a 3D tower defense game. Let's see. Might as well make a new hero with this. Donning his robe and wizard hat, the apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Let's see. Novice level. Brave knight in training. The squire upholds the honor and nobility of his kingdom with every slice of his blade. Building defenses of brute force and limited range, the squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeoning spikes and whirling blades unleash the rage he bestows upon his foes. Medium. Trained in reconnaissance, the sleek and slender huntress deploys deadly traps and explosives. But do not be fooled by her appearance. This elegant she-devil is trained in ranged weaponry and is sure to always hit her mark. Launching a volley of arrows from the shadows, the enemy never sees her coming. Once a peaceful and passive student, the monk has been called from his solitary meditation and forced to take up arms in the defense of his land. Only he, through his expert spear-fighting skill, can avenge the death of his master. Channeling his aura, 
the monk uses energy to heal his allies and cripple foes. Mm. The sly trickster born in a windy Okay, and the rest, that's a lot of them, but all of them locked. Uh, let's let's start with uh, the apprentice then. But this court don't do that. Hmm? Your Discord icon instead, for some reason. Okay. Okay, select. Uh, yeah, this game is actually supposed to be played in multiplayer most of the time. So, yeah. Basically, f four heroes into an arena, and you have to s defend, well, the giant ass crystal that was in the background there. Let's see. Level level up available already. Okay. Deeper well. Found recent forges. Made quarters. Challenges. Okay, again, just throwing stuff at you, really. Uh, close. Okay, so at least we can look around some in here. But yeah, this is basically the lobby. Few statistics. Miss okay, and here we can go back to this. I, I, I know that there is a sequel of this game, uh, Dungeon Defenders 2, but that has gone very heavy on the, well, pay to win stuff. Like and mic oh. microtransactions. And yeah, as is obvious, this game is pretty old as well. Though I think it's not as old as the previous one. Okay. Not too sure if I really like the interface. Uh, we have... Is that how much we have in the bank? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's not mess with that just yet then. Hero Shop of Hillian, huh? Okay. Hero Shop? Yeah, there's some... Okay, Bang's Mana. Okay, so that's basically our... Well... <clears throat> that's basically our currency, it seems, and... Okay, oh... Lev up, level up to level 1, okay. Let's see then. Defenses... Let's start out with Defense Health. Hmm. Uh, yeah, obviously as before, this game uh, is supposed to be a multiplayer game. So we won't be getting too much out of it with just this. And this is... Coal? Create a diamond? Okay, is that another currency then? I don't recall there being microtransactions in this game. What else is around here? I imagine there's a lot of grind for better stuff. Let's see. Defender's Forge. Is is this just the, the Is this items that we own? And let's see. There's uh, cars level eight. Uh, level three. Is it moved to... Why does it... Okay. Okay, we have... We have that item now, though. Let, what is that? Uh, it, usually when you mouse over something, it'll tell you something about it, but apparently not in this case. Hmm. 
guessing that's knockback. Piercing damage. Hmm. And this is just a big pile of nothing over here. Basically just an area to screw around, probably. Or can we leave? No. <laughs> we can only walk around up here. Alright then. Yeah, this is, for one, this is an old game, but it is also very apparent that you sort of need to play this with others to get the most out of it. Yeah. I think I'm very neutral or mad about how defense games do to my twin. If the two games he usually really like me to join on, or almost only play, because it allows me to join him and play Diablo 2. Land with each other, or he and his friends really like me to join on tower defense on Warcraft 3, where basically tower defense were born on. Yeah, uh, they... I had no idea that I could break those crates open, and I was even more surprised to find Portal and Team Fortress 2 stuff inside. Oh dear, but yeah, I think the ultimate twin I'm not too excited about the uh, tower defense games that much. I don't, I don't mind that tower defense element in a game, but I guess that's only based on tower defense makes me rather. Nah. Yeah, it, it's not for everyone. And uh, just to explain a bit, the story behind this game is I it I skipped through the intro before the game, but basically uh, the lands are supposed to be defended by these four. Only, uh, well, they ended up dead, apparently. So now their apprentices are stuck with uh, doing their work. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's give this a go to this deeper well. Oh. Etheria was once a land of living legends. Long ago, brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes, called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties, and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together they will defend the Eternia Crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. I really dislike the Squire's design. Uh, you'd expect something that could be so dangerous to be, uh, well, at least have a case over it instead of just sitting on a pillow. Yeah, like, um, th th that was bound to happen. Like, if you have a danger crystal like that, you don't leave it on a pillow. You put defenses around it, magical circles, cages, vaults. You just bury it at the bottom of a volcano. Can you repeat that? Just bury it at the bottom of a volcano. Volcano, all right. That makes more sense. <laughs> what else were you thinking I was sat there then? You said that somebody said volcano. I was wondering, what the heck is that? A vul vulgar volcano? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. We have enemies will start spawning from these doors. And it'll tell us how many. Since this is the first level and set on easy, it's going to be, well, easy. So we'll be getting five of those goblins, and I think those are archers. And yeah, we can open up these chests every round for mana. And yeah, we'll want to we'll want to fortify some choke points. Actually, I think that it, hmm. 
There's eight games that I've been half curious on sometimes to do if I ever get the chance, so that's console defense games. Okay, I think I've know of a few games like that. Yeah, for I know they have some tower defense element, but they have also I mean, other elements like troop deployment and all that. Okay, that's basically a chest. All right, let's see. Um, we can put down. Oh, we don't don't we don't have enough mana to put down anything. Need hero level three to summon magic blockade. Okay. And wait, why can't you pick up the, those crystals? Because our mana at the the left, the blue forty, ah. is full. Okay, all right, that's that's kind of good. As long as they don't despawn. Okay, shift brings up the map, which will also, show where enemies are. Is Bayard a reference to someone? No, it's just the the standard name that this came with. You you can you can give oh. your characters your own, uh, names of your own choice or just randomize it. And that was the first that was well, in there. All right. Okay. Combat phase. And yeah, here they come. Yeah, I, I do kind of like the art style and stuff from this game. Just yeah, every time I saw the squire. With face on his helmet and just walk around in underwear, like full armor except without pants. And just it it really pulled me away from the game. Oh well, we can we can summon a magic tower, uh, miss magic missile tower. Apparently, oh, already. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. It throwing you into a a game without in a tower defense game without any. Uh, structures you could build from the start would be a, a dig move. Yeah, honestly, it's very easy. Okay, and that's that noise that comes up with the build phase, I recognize that from Sacrifice. Which is a, a sort of semi... Um... Yeah, it's a it's a, one of those games that is very curious with its uh, design and s such because on the one hand uh, the cl it's a close to an RTS in that but it's a uh, yeah third person so wow. you have to summon your move you, you don't have an you don't have any view from above uh, it, it's a, it's a game that's very fondly remembered. Okay. Go. These chairs, hmm. chairs, stairs are going to be choke points. So let's just grab as much mana as we can, and well, defend them. And okay, staff. That is, we can't use that. So <laughs> that starts and ends with that. There. I should probably look up the word missile. For. I'm when growing up, I was used to being a you know a rocket. Yeah, the... and the first time I saw magic missile, which was in a Bullets Gate game, I got very confused. But I imagine the wizard shooting out the magical rocket. Yeah, uh, technically, a missile is just a projectile that's guided. And yeah, rockets are oh. unguided. So technically speaking, every guided uh, rocket is a missile. All right. Uh, wait. Now that makes me to wonder: Does a arrow from a bow count as a guided missile or so? Uh, I think they in me game mechanics they are often called missiles, though they aren't really guided, so to speak. All right. So when the game say. Like missile, uh, yeah. They use the term missile. They most like using it a bit wrong. Yeah, more like projectile. Unless I'm misunderstanding it as well. All right. Okay, equip those boots. Yeah, I probably should look at it up sometime. Let's see. We have. Yeah, I think the green ones are worth ten mana each. So we can put down one more thing. 
or let's see. Let's repair. The... It's kind of funny how language works, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put if down one more over here. Oh dear. If I remember right, when you say cavalry, you're actually only referring to people riding horses. <laughs> or the actual term for riding a camel is cavalry. I'm sure what the official term would be for an elephant, but yeah, I think many games use cavalry for anything that rides something. Yeah, it is it is a useful uh, shorthand and Okay, that most of them are going on the weaker side. So, yeah, let's support over here. Yeah, that, that makes sense that they are somewhat smart. You know, sometimes I find annoying when games are a bit too smart, like you do a turn to um, decent defense, but the enemy completely ignores and goes to the weakest possible that they should not be doing. Okay, that side is holding out. Yeah, for, for most most of the time with these sorts of games, you are so yeah, you're mostly supposed to rely on uh, your defenses, not uh, your own combat prowess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Level up. Uh, let's add more damage to those things. Miss Mother, how many games have you played that the AI was a bit too smart for the system? Uh, don't really know. Yeah, I know I've run into some games that have said, but I forgot then which one they would, it will be. Like, the AI is almost human cheesy, cheesy level smart to make you wonder am I really playing like a computer or is this a person in trolling me behind me here and I usually get annoyed by that when the, the AI is actually cheesing you uh, most of the time with, with I know with uh, games cheesing you it's been more like that uh, the AI the AI gets a statistical uh, advantage over you. Like uh, they yeah. get a constant uh, power influx or something like that. Yeah, and it can get annoying for then you yourself are forced to choose. And it can ruin the game feel. Okay, not going to equip that. That's only got a negative on it. And that is better. I, I do like that they, get, they have the thumbs up, thumbs down thing to show you if something is better than something you have equipped. I agree. Or they have things like a, a red down button, a, a red down arrow and a green up arrow. Or things like that. I kind of like that, but that helps. In Diablo 3, I like that they actually tell you by much like they were... It was a, if you had an item, you found an item that gave you three down arrows, it would mean it's very horrible well, uh, uh, compared to in our subject that you, what you're already using. Yeah. So it's a very good way to know if it's only a little better or much better before you even picked it up. Okay, we have a, we have a limited amount of uh, things that we can put down. That's shown in the upper right, together with the, uh, oh, the the number, the wave counts that we're on. But yeah, so far we have plenty of, uh, yeah, we have still plenty that we can put down. And I'm put I'm putting these down along the path to help thin out their numbers a bit. So that by the time that they get to the, uh, well, the choke point with the, the two, with more turrets, that there will be less enemies to deal with, or at least weakened enemies. Because you can, you can put up the strongest defenses that you can think of, but if too many uh, enemies come at it at once, it's going to get overwhelmed all the way, all, all the same. Yeah. 
And this one is sort of wasted, unless they're probably going to make more enemies appear from the side door. They're probably going to add enemies coming in from those side doors at the last wave or something. Yeah, so... in this game it seems like you need to place your defenses evenly. Yeah, you can, still, I... uh, you can still help affect things by going into combat yourself. But still, mostly you want your defenses to do the work. Yeah, and that's the problem. If you put too much defenses on one side, the enemies are just going to ignore it and you'll be forced to go into your, the fight yourself. Yeah. Let's see, we have enough mana for one more turret. Let's see, can we put those up here to shoot down on, at them? Okay, let's start. And let's let the, the turrets do most of the work now and then we just defend any we deal with anything that gets through. Actually, how is the sound going with this games? Is no not Discord. Okay, sorry for that for a moment. No okay. Worries. Yeah, those things are pretty slow to attack, but it seems that those archers are going to s shoot back at them. And okay, it's also showing how many enemies have been dealt with at the upper right. And yeah, they're not coming. They're not getting through this, I think. <laughs> they're not getting through it at all. Nice. Okay. Can't use. Yeah, I, I just really like that that sound that it gives from in the build phase because it, it reminds me of sacrifice every time it does. Uh, there we go. Now they're starting. To, okay, that that's a big one. <laughs> I feel I uh, recognize the name, but this is where I felt like there was many games. The word sacrifice in the name. Yeah, but yeah, that one has only sacrifice in the, as the name. Not sacrifice yeah. of or no subtitle, just sacrifice. It's from Shiny Entertainment, if my memory serves me right. Uh, was it an anime like a game? Uh, no. Alright. Okay. Hmm. The, the question now is is that thing going to go down or is it going to go this way? That would be useful to know with, uh, like, a line that shows how they're going to walk. So, if I put... If I put turrets that face downwards and it goes upwards... Yeah, then I'm screwed. Hmm. Yeah, let's double down on the defense up here, then. Let's just have it face like this. So, if it comes either way, it's going to get attacked anyways. Uh, already has one like here. I, I actually didn't see if this one started attacking down or not. Probably good to try and keep an eye out to see if it's uh, outside of attack range or not. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with at least one of them ourselves, probably. And all of these blue mana crystals only give one mana. Let's see. Yeah, the, the 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 one thing that people should know when they are starting out with uh, defense games like this uh, is well, choke points, choke points, choke points. Because yeah, if if you can seriously weaken. Uh, it's something that I had to learn in Fire Emblem. And yeah, basically if you can limit the amount of enemies that can come towards you at once, then yeah, then you are going to be in a much stronger position. Yeah. And 
there are plenty of stories in mythology and history where well <clears throat> where we're, like massive forces were held back uh, because they were lured in onto a bridge or something yeah and it I learned that tactic, I think I learned that tactic from other games, but the one tactic that really, really started to appreciate that tactic way more was probably in Disgaea, where they had many levels where you actually needed to make a damn shield wall. And I've that never... was surprising enough, I used it for grinding levels in the end. Yeah, I've never played any of the Disgaea games myself, I know my brother has played some at least. Yeah, they are good, just... They can take a while. I still not finished any of them. I've been close, but I know need to pause because of the, how much grind I need to do to be even remotely ready. I should probably see if I can just finish one of them soon, for they are somewhat less grindy. At least the grind is a bit more rewarding. In the latest one, there's a new one coming up. Uh, you don't. You're not forced to reincarnate your characters over and over. Which meant you need to, needed to level them up from level one over and over again. Yeah, from what I know of that, that's basically prestiging your characters. Yeah, but they also, in a way, needed it for extra skill points, extra stats, extra abilities. So you were kind of needing to do it. Yeah. But in this one, they we automatically go up in a prestige rank without having to uh, without having to reincarnate. They just, if you let them fight long enough fast or they enough skill, they will rank up and level up. So, be a bit more fun. And I even, when I grind up, I don't grind the regular levels anymore. I grind in the item world. So, when I grind my cast levels, I also at the same time level up an item for them to use. So, yeah. We, we win. Let's see. This way we're covered if it goes down or up. Yep. And I think that's all of the crystals that we had lying around. Yep. So here yeah. goes then. Yeah. Reminds me, I should probably soon get a Nintendo Switch for. Apparently, this guy for once is not going to be on PlayStation. Don't to some deal they with me Nintendo. Apparently, they've been having a bit rough time. They signed with Nintendo. So, uh, this guy uh, is going to Nintendo Switch for the first time. Oh, uh, well, it has been on Switch before, but the first time it got released on PlayStation. Okay, so the orcs go after turrets. Okay. Just like the archers. Uh, they're being held back here. But I just hope that N Nintendo doesn't shall find this guy. Uh. This guy was very much. Hurt Okay for kids, but it's not more meant for young adults than us. Yeah, uh, Nintendo has been uh, more adult with some things a lot, like uh, Mad World. Yeah, and, and they have. Oh, they, they also, uh, they also ensured that Bayonetta got a sequel, and that certainly oh, wasn't a, a Nintendo-style uh, game. Yeah, but that one was also on the PlayStation. But yeah, and I, I mean, learned that they have hidden many rather erotic jokes in December games, hidden in or out of sight. And you don't really realize them until you stop and think that, oh, wait. Oh. That's why it felt a little bit out of context. Okay, I think the lower paths can be dealt with on their own now so yeah. let's just put up the fences to deal with these orcs it, it we are playing on easy so on medium and such this would be a lot more tougher and probably I'm now I'm thinking would they put would they make the enemy stronger or would they just add more enemies good question I also because... remember something that now we're talking about Nintendo uh, go, go on you had to say something there. Uh, yes. It. Oh, we're low on mana there. Oh, oh, we are. We are at their our build limit. Uh, oh. yeah. There's. It's uh. It's all. It can be interesting or annoying how some 
games deal with difficulty like usually it's just throwing up a bunch of modifiers like uh, they'll do x amount more damage or take uh, x amount of less damage when you deal damage to them that sort of thing but in some games like the metal gear solid ones i think not entirely sure on this because i'm going from memory um they actually make the enemies smarter as well like they'll keep searching for you they'll search more thoroughly through places and that sort of thing yeah that one it will it definitely make sense to make them uh, smarter in that way for what's the point of making them harder to kill if you can easily still hide from them yeah see fancy and better than but yeah I can admit, it is a difficult thing to do. And as I remember now, we said spoke about Nintendo. I have played some of the Fire Emblems on my 3DS, which I only got and only realized uh, like uh, one week after that they just about to release Switch. <laughs> but one of the Emblem Emblems, I have, I have not been not playing it for a while. I should probably see if I can play it on the world, but that's something that. I start to realize it kind of disturbs me and makes me wonder also why other things like in what you have been on the 3DS you apparently supposed to blow you just blow air into the mic. <laughs> uh, yeah, gimmicks like that can be uh, annoying if not dealt uh, done right. Yeah, but if this is more like a character you, your character is painting wants you to cool them down and you yeah you hear yourself it sounds weird like okay why impressive technology sure but why yeah because gimmicks uh, people think was that a goblin that went the other way okay found you <laughs> Yeah, gimmicks yeah. like that can be interesting, but also annoying. Yeah, and Nintendo is very famous for it. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, Nintendo is also willing to go quite dark with some of its own franchises. Like, I've played uh, Fire Emblem Radiant, uh, no, Path of Radiance, and uh, yeah, that that gets quite dark at points. Yeah. And that's what kind of why I want guys to get the switch. But I feel like they are returning to more games that can feel a bit more dark and mature. It's not like Nintendo Wii that mostly felt like a kids' console. But I know there are some rather dark games for Nintendo Wii, but they were almost left in the shadows mostly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Activate to proceed to the next level. Okay. Nice. Awards, Immortal, Invincible, Times 3, Flawless Victory, Master Builder. Nice. Oh, another thing that also disturbed me a bit of, uh, at least on this on the uh, Fire Emblem games on Nintendo 3DS. And that's, uh, it took me a real thing to realize it. I heard it mentioned from another YouTuber, besides, just, he just then told me that that's kind of true. And that's when you basically play match up with your characters to get the best offspring possible okay yeah you that hear sounds, yourself that's that's a bit uh, eugenics like yeah and i was doing that i was actually looking up the wikipedia to see which uh, how to make the kids best as possible myself uh, and after youtube and me realized yeah that is kind of disturbing i caught myself doing it without realizing it and when i when it's told me, it made me disturbed that I actually used two people and focused on getting the best uh, offspring between them as possible. And that felt just weird. Yeah, well, weird is that you put the children in another dimension, they bring them back as an adult after a few weeks. Like, I like Fire Emblem games so far, but some of their that you have kids in them, they have really... Uh... Yeah, it's uh, a bit of a culture... It's a bit of a culture shock thing. 
Yeah, um, but yeah, again, if an often for a YouTuber, it would probably take me a long time to realize that that is kind of disturbing. That you're basically using people as breeding dogs for something else. Uh. Okay. Wait, let's see. These are locked, okay. Then if we press that, sell un unlocked. Uh, let's see, is there anything that's still green? Those are green, that's green, let's lock that then. And yeah, let's keep that locked, <laughs> the portal gun. Oh dear. Uh, oh god, I just realized something else from Fire Emblem. What a unit there, I will look the forward to. But it's not like a actual unit that the character will an elephant on with a ballista. However, here's the thing. I found a unit online, I got a, 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 a small video about it. And it was a person with a big crossbow on the back of a horse. With a, and the horse was armored in an elephant armor. Okay. Yeah, I was very disappointed. They have drakes, vibrant, griffins. But when it comes to elephant, eh, just put a horse helmet that looks like an elephant head on a horse. Like, really? Elephant is where you draw the line, Nintendo. Yeah, it could just be a bit of a joke or something. Yeah, just yeah, you hear you hear my tone here. I felt so disappointed. Okay, let's see. We have the crystal in the middle, and our our six entry points from three directions. And over here, it's uh, yeah three entry points. So the best approach that I can think of is that we barricade up these entry points and maybe for a secondary layer, uh, yeah, hmm, yeah, the secondary layer would probably be on the stairs, on the first stairs from the spawn points. Over here. But now we also have these mag magic barricades that we can hide stuff behind. So let's. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I, did it? Did that just yeah. drop all of my mana? Okay, that that's probably meant to so you can give mana to other players, but uh, I kind of want that back. <laughs> okay. Is that a game design oversight? Uh, maybe it is. This game is also a bit old, not as old as Drox Operative, I think. Yeah, that it's. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how old this one is. Okay. I think maybe, maybe a decade or so by now, maybe a bit older than that. This game? Yeah. Then it would be older than Drox. Yeah, Drox Operative I was speaking of earlier. Oh, all right, yeah. Drox Operative said it was from... It seems to say it is from 2014. Okay, um, might as well take a quick look then at when this game was supposed to be released. Let's see. Come on. Dungeon... Defenders. And this game released in... Come on. But yeah, my guess is from Docs is more like it was the copyright uh, thingy. Selling between 2011 and 2014. Okay, this came out... Uh, 20, uh, 2010... Uh, on... Eh? Okay, apparently this started out as a... A mobile game of sorts, huh? Oh yeah, like, I think I know I, about that. iOS and Android release in, 20, in 2010. Uh, Windows on 2011. Okay, so oh, Drox Operative is younger than this. Yeah, not by much, but yeah. 
Okay. A chain in the way. Okay. Let's start by setting up a bit of here. We'll put in walls later. Because first we just want turrets to just shoot stuff. And we have enough more for here. Oh, now we get it back, huh? <laughs> but yeah, our, our mana pool has been increasing uh, with the levels that we've been gaining. So we don't need to walk around to the... <clears throat> to the uh, chests. No, no need to walk back and forth to the chests as much. Okay. There is no more chests. So we put in this one and then we just help out on the other flank. Okay. Still on the easy, so still about easy to deal with. And yeah, we can charge this attack, and apparently it does an AoE damage as, as well, apparently. Okay. That's kind of good. And yeah, enemies are visible on the map, and it seems that they sort of split up, but not evenly. And yeah, these should be nothing to the turrets. Splat. Oh, even more incoming with archers this time, it seems. <laughs> the spell does have travel damage. Or not travel damage, travel time. <laughs> So we we need to line up our attacks with this. The the knight the, now the square would of course uh, have no issue with that since they are melee focused. He needs square people, not square. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's more than a, okay. They are going for the weak point now. Not until. Okay. One more over here. They're not exactly lined up, but oh well. God, I feel like I, I actually have played several games where they encourage you to do things, but the AI is too smart for those uh, tactics that you end up just going and hack and slash. Uh, Without using the tactics the game wants to do, due to the AI is too smart for them, unless you go just full berserk. All right. I don't know which game they are, but I feel like I played a few that had that, that going on. It also annoys me, making me from like, why, why are you even bothered with these spell tactics and these things if they is they not gonna do anything? If the enemies are too smart for them anyway. Okay, that should help hold them off. I don't know. I'm going to presume that uh, these the enemies' walk boxes are a bit wider than the openings that we would leave with just two of those, but probably still best to double up and completely seal it off. Should at least give enough time. Yeah. It, that should allow the turrets behind it to just keep wailing on them. And not that. Yep. That. And I, I can probably make it work with just this. So let's hold a bit of a check, a test with that there. Uh, where's the last two chests? Uh, let's see, we're halfway through this level and we are at an hour 50 minutes is. So let's finish this level 
and then call it. Yeah. Myself is going off uh, to the park later as well, so. Yeah, too much of this would get boring. And yeah, it this these types of games would be a lot more fun when you're playing with someone else. And I think this game should be pretty cheap these days. So if you'd want to buy it, we could have some fun with it sometime. Uh, no fun with this, or yeah, you, you, you may remember what I said about tower defense games. True. Yeah, okay, here we go. Now these this should be able to de help. This should all be able to be dealt with by the turrets that we placed. Okay, getting a bit sorry for hitting the mic there. Things are starting to get a bit dark out. Maybe yeah, overcast and clouds or something. Perhaps over here it's no cloud at all. Oh well, that's why I have a light and the, the well, that's why I have the lights in this room. Yeah, it's kind of funny in the in the morning now. Now I go a bit good bit good bit, but a bit slightly earlier. I go up earlier because I probably want to wake up early for some reason. Today was very foggy. Okay. So I had to skip, uh, skip the taking a morning walk. Uh, what? You might run into a werewolf or something or a yeti. No, I. Here's the thing. I normally don't mind walking in me in fog and stuff, but after one incident, when I walk into the town center, I actually got lost in the fog. Okay. This even surprised me. Sure, I was a bit new to the area walking around, but it took me a while to realize I have walked wrong due to the fog has blocked out all my... all the things I use as a... Reference? A reference, no, I were. So mm -hmm. I, I was slightly off, but luckily I realized where I was, uh, so I could get home. But yeah, yeah, that uh, moment, that gets you nervous, but especially with yeah. uh, all of the Silent Hill stuff. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that uh, until you said that. Now I was more like, yeah, you just didn't like being lost. I was not afraid. I wasn't thinking about monsters. Stuff. It was more like. Where the heck am I? Just the idea of being lost uh, made me terrified. Let's see. We need. Lucky enough, I, I have accidentally walked uh, not too far away from my home, so I could uh, find it. Uh, but it took me a while to find enough uh, tail signs of those. But all the other one tail signs were hidden by fog. Okay, they're going to spawn orcs on all sides now. But we have enough mana to upgrade our structures now. Which would which should mean that they deal a lot more damage. Let's just see if we have enough to upgrade No we don't we're not going to have enough mana to upgrade a cannon on each side. But yeah, we can just assist in the weaker area. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I should probably walk in the fog now. now it's just fine. Just come and walk for it's very much a straight line. But there is anything that I feel uncomfortable with fog. And as well, I I think I realized that some people are, yeah, they are worst runners and worst bicyclers in fog. Yeah. Let's see. My was seven seven sixty. Okay, the middle one is the not is the one that's not upgraded. So with three turrets on each side, this should still be doable. And well, we can throw these <laughs> magic bombs around. And as also as long as enemies are in that circle around the gate, they can't be hurt. So it doesn't help to just put up defenses all around that.
she better? Now, let's see. Yeah, it seems they split up in uneven amounts at every uh, split in the past. So that, that is going to mean that some areas are going to get more targets to deal with than others. I'll now let's see how this orc does against... Yeah, it, do it doesn't deal at all. <laughs> it just gets spanked. Okay, maybe I should have started this on medium. But it, you're, you're showing off the game, but not in Sunday, so... Yeah. As long as you uh, explain that you're on easy, it should be fine. And, well, there's, there's, there's always just something satisfying about there's one left. There's always just watching... There's always... Yeah, always something satisfying about watching, uh, yeah, just waves of enemies kill themselves on the your defenses. Yeah, that I can uh, understand. But yeah, upgrading is always a good idea in these types of games, because eventually you're going to run out of stuff. You're going to run out of, out of space to put your turrets, so it's better to. Well, I think it's in general. Uh, to upgraded turrets generally do more damage than the same amount of energy spent in putting down more turrets. So yeah. it, it takes 100 mana to upgrade one of these turrets, uh, which hopefully would mean that it deals as much damage as two and a half other turrets. Yeah, sometimes you either have to upgrade or put more, but usually it's better to just upgrade. So sometimes it's good to put on more so you can spread it out a bit more. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of a balancing act because yeah, now we're getting thirty two of these bast yeah, of those goblin bastards. And yeah. Uh, yeah, just one maximally upgraded turret would not be able to deal with that unless it was an AoE thing. Yeah, exactly. So sometimes you have to think about that. Like how strong are the main enemies are and how numerous men are they. For sure, I mean, may have one very strong tower, but it's basically useless if there's too many enemies to shoot without AOA. Yeah. Or you're only killing one at a time. Sure, you're one-shotting them, but they may still, still run past. Yeah, and that's why choke points and just plain walls are important. Yep. I, I respect tower defense games in that aspect. I just... Ah. Hmm. Not many of them I found en enjoyable, but they... They sometimes get boring. I, I can watch some... Uh, I just want to kill some time and watch something light when I'm uh, not, not uh, high focused on brain power. I can watch some people play some sort of tower defense game. But I could not see myself playing many of them. Yeah, it's it's often a long-term game with uh, some trial and error as well. Yeah. Since yeah, the, the game might throw curveballs at you that you won't can't be prepared for on the first go. Like uh, I believe Sanctum Two, I played that for a while, not for a while, but for a bit. And uh, yeah, it'll start off with just normal enemies, but then like. Real soon it starts throwing flying enemies at you after you filled up your entire area with anti uh, ground you know, turrets. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really you know, the aspect that made me very annoyed about how defense. Yeah. Probably why I kind of like the idea of cost of defense more for you still have towers and short points, but you have also an army. To redirect, uh, to use the short points and all that. Yeah, the heck is. Oh, no, don't. That's just. Those are suicide bombers. Okay. Yeah, it might. It'd be useful to have a second layer to distract those with. Yeah, 
Uh, let's see. Seven six. Seven six. This one needs an upgrade. And not the. F that. That. Okay, we can also spell on mana to repair turrets, which in general will be cheaper than building new ones if they get destroyed. Makes sense. And there come more runners. I think. I think Again, I feel like they have played some games where it's better for a tower or something to break down than repair them. Or apparently, they, in some games, it was more expensive to repair than uh, rebuild. Which would annoyed me. Okay, 200 I, mana for the next upgrade. Again, I don't remember which game it was, but I know that uh, if you're gonna make repairs be more expensive and make it just buying a new one cheaper, then you need to fix or uh, fix or redesign the hammer right away. Yeah. Unless those turrets can gain experience or something. But it doesn't sound like that game would have that. Yeah, just redesign. Uh, yeah, that's just a. That's just the thing with the markets. For every good game that's out there, there's probably like five bad ones. Yeah. I think it was, it was a decent game, just had some some questionable aspects. Yeah. Okay. Any of these that need upgrading still? Yes. Okay, and now we put down some def distraction defenses to keep those. Uh, yeah, okay, they're going to bring out 12 of them now in total, and one big one in the middle. Okay. Put that there to be a nuisance. Though. Yeah, the archers will probably start attacking that instead, so maybe not. Hmm. Let's do it like this all the same then. About to have them turn so they can actually attack back. Uh, something else with these games is that you have to figure out how the enemies will behave. Which is also a trial and error thing. Like, are those uh, are those dynamite goblins going to charge at the first uh, defensive thing that they find, or will they only attack walls? Hmm. Yeah, that is not a good thing. Keeps you on your toes. But yeah, we'll have to find out if those turrets, if these turrets even survive. No, we can. No, let's just keep them. Let's keep one on each corner, so it is evenly spread out. So we, if we find ten more mana, we can upgrade one of them to ensure that they survive, most likely. Don't think there's any more lying around, so let's just activate this thing and then we'll upgrade it in the middle of combat. Yep. Uh, uh, how long how long much is it remaining of this map? Uh, this is the last wave. Alright. Yeah, maybe a different thing that... Oh, there, there they are. Maybe a different thing that we could have done would be to... Uh, yeah. The best layer of the... F the best secondary layer I can think of... Would have been to just... Put, more, to put up a blockade on the stairs themselves. And... Okay, they are going for the first thing they find. Or... At least they ignite on the first thing they find. 
Okay, so maybe just some distraction walls would have been better. Oh yeah, live and learn. And there's the boss, a Cyclops. But they say an ogre, but they only uh, got one eye. Yeah, only one eye. So I, that technically makes it more of a Cyclops than a, an ogre. And yeah. That one fights back at us immediately. Oh, okay, yeah, we're we're going to need to needle this guy in the ass. Fourteen thousand exp health. Yeah, these bosses don't mess around. Come on. Okay, defenses are holding. Damaged, but holding. But as, as long as we can kill this guy, we should be okay. Is that... Oh, no, dark. Arrow creepers. I thought they, I thought they were going to recover that with battering rams. <laughs> okay, just attacking like this is faster, or it does more damage. And another turret was destroyed there. Okay, now we have those helping. Yeah, it. This shows you how much more damage that your turrets will deal compared to you. What does 2 do actually? Overcharge? Okay, that increases our damage, I think. Okay, I have no idea what that overcharge did. But it seems that these turrets did help with thinning out the horde somewhat. Uh, don't. I was pressing the wrong button there. Okay, just deal with you, jackasses. And there we go. That's this level complete, so let's go around... Oh, our turrets automatically disappear. So, yeah, let's go grab all of the loot. Let's let's up the attack rate a lot. Because, yeah, those things might deal a lot of damage, but if they are really slow to attack... Yeah, yeah that's not going to help. Yeah, I, w I was going to point out that... I, it is nice that when something gets damaged, it actually, you can see the damage, both on the map here, because the symbol grew darker, and, Ooh. well, in that the uh, the models change, because the, the towers that were getting, the, the turrets that were getting damaged started to spark. That's kind of good design. Okay, is that all the loot? Should be at least most of the loot. It actually kind of makes sense, and uh, since you're wandering around uh, like this, you don't have the advantage of, uh, like in Warcraft 3, where you are always overviewed the air battle arena. Okay, enemies spawned, and the, the blue line is the enemies that we've killed ourselves. Not bad. Uh, let's return to the tavern. Mission progress will be... Okay, let's just move on to the next level then. Though that should be to where I had gotten with this game previously. Yeah, the Mage's Quarters. This is where... Well, similar to Sanctum 2, this is where... This is where airborne enemies will start showing up. Oh dear. But yeah, let's return to the tavern and call it a stream there. Like... I don't think I'll be streaming either of these games because yeah this this one if uh, I'd find three other people who'd want to play this then I might uh, on a on a Saturday sideshow from time to time 
But for a full-on stream to the end of it, uh, yeah, no. Not solo at the very least. Uh, yeah. As for Drox Operative, I like that that game turned out better than I thought it originally was. But I also don't really think that it's going to be streaming material because it seems to be more like a, a sandbox game. And yeah, sandbox games you could play for eternity and beyond. Yeah, I could say work on a YouTube with uh, a few uh, where you can cut it up and all that. But just for live stream, uh, no. Yeah. All right then. So yeah, let let's see if anyone has been watching. I know Trucker was watching, but he probably ran over to Beanie instead. <laughs> and I thought I'd set this up already to show by chat, so I can check out an accurate amount of viewers. Okay, that's a lot of people watching. Apparently, <laughs> hello oh. everyone. <laughs> How many? Uh, let's see, Sue four seven. Nice! Hello, Though, folks! I think two there might be bots, but oh well. So, as usual, let's start at the, from the bottom. Sad goal. I uh, hope this is. Uh, <clears throat> I hope this brightened up your day a bit. Rogue girl. Uh, yeah, don't go picking my pocket, please. Game trend <laughs> analytics. That that stinks of bots. If you are not a bot, speak up sometime. Otherwise, I will start ignoring you. Commander Root, pretty much, I think that's pretty much confirmed as a bot. Big Trucker 26, thank you again, and thank you for pointing out uh, what I obviously overlooked. Bella Bors, I, I have no idea what that might mean, but uh, <laughs> thank you for watching all the same. And another TV viewer, another probable bot. And of course, as always, special thanks to you, Dirkir. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, this has been Something Sunday with Drox Operative and Dungeon Defenders. Neither I'll probably be continuing on. And Tuesday, I'll be starting a shorter game for streams to have a bit of a break from uh, longer games because Bloodstained, while fun, was pretty long. The longest one so far. The only thing that's long, the only playlist on here, the only playlist on my YouTube that will be longer will be, well, something someday because this was the 13th one i think whoa uh, yeah which means that we've be we've basically been recording these streams for three months and before that i'm pretty sure we were busy with it like one or two months more but i well not we exactly but more we i was co-commentating so uh, co-commentating solo commentating solo and yeah didn't upload it to youtube so yeah for for ease's sake i'll just go with when we started uploading that that is the official starting point of where i started streaming for any anniversary stuff or something <laughs> that could be a good idea a fireball turret uh-oh Okay, yeah, these would be AoE attacks. That is pretty... If there's, if there's something known about fireballs, is that they go boom in a big area. Boom and burn. <laughs> but, yeah. Any, thanks again, everyone. But until next time, but until then... Until then... Be safe, folks!